These mirrors concentrate a large area of sunlight. The heat is intense. It seems to be an abundant source of easily available energy. How can this technology be improved to make it more competitive? Sunny Morocco seems like the ideal place to produce solar power. Just north of Marrakesh lies the Green Energy Park, where researchers are working on making green energy technology less costly, including concentrated solar power, or CSP. The big advantage of CSP technology is that the source, which is the sun, is free. Another advantage is that it is relatively compact and it is also quite an efficient system compared to rival technologies like photovoltaic panels, for example. But mirrors are difficult to keep clean in hot climates. The wind carries dust from nearby deserts and washing it off uses up precious water resources. So scientists are looking for ways to reduce the use of water by measuring the reflectivity of the mirrors to determine the most water-efficient cleaning schedule. If we work on the optimization of the cleaning cycles, together with the development of materials with the anti-soiling coatings and the other cleaning techniques, so yeah, we can for sure find a solution. Large amounts of water are also used for cooling purposes, so researchers are looking into cooling systems that use air instead of water when the temperature is low enough. Another problem is the accumulation of salt on the tubes, which affects the performance of the power plant. It's a problem that depends on the quality of the water. In the end, it makes the condensers and therefore the power plant less efficient. By obstructing thermal exchange between the tube and the water that's used for cooling. To find out which chemicals worst affect the cooling systems, the researchers in their lab add different salts to the cooling system and run it round the clock. The results will reveal which chemicals need to be removed to stop the salt from accumulating, a process known as salt fouling. When we maybe not uh, stop fouling but reduce it, the heat, change, the heat exchanger would be good and that will be, of course, give us some uh, uh, the optimal uh, cooling. It's hoped the research will lead to significant water savings. Cooling systems could, for instance, use recycled water from other industrial processes. The ultimate goal being to make CSP plants more competitive and help promote this environmentally friendly technology in regions that are heavily dependent on affordable fossil fuels. It could really make a big difference in the sense that areas that were previously not so attractive because of water scarcity could now host CSP plants. And it's important for these countries to become less dependent on fossil fuels. According to researchers, technological improvements could eventually save up to 25% of the water currently used for cleaning the mirrors and up to 95% of what's lost to evaporation in the cooling systems.